it going everyone? Today is my 85th video and I've recently visited Tintagel and they've built this brand new bridge. In today's video I'll be talking you through some key facts and what they did to it. So first of all, uh, it just took 10 months to be built off site in Plymouth and a further 3 weeks to be built well on site uh, right over here in um, uh, Tintagel and that's my first little fact and uh, um, please enjoy the rest, I'll tell you some more facts in a minute. I need to quickly point out that once you got to the middle of the bridge, if there were quite a few people on it, it would start to sort of feel, well, in a way, bendy. However, you should not be alarmed by this, as um, they might say to you, this is quite a normal effect. Now let's get onto some key facts. This bridge stands 70 metres, or 229 feet, above the ground. And also, this bridge is 36 metres long, or 118 feet long. Over there in the distance, you can see things such as Port Isaac. As you can see now, that over there is Port Isaac. It's is about 26 miles away, which is quite a fair distance. And I find it fascinating how it looks, it looks sort of like Meccano, the, um, to the side of you. The metal sort of steel rivets that sort of hold it up into place. I find it interesting how there is a gap in the middle. It almost feels like you're going to fall off, or, or like one of those bridges such as the Tower Bridge that allows boats to go through. the underside of the bridge looks like and you can see under the bridge is the whole by these very strong sort of steel thick bars that sort of are tied in a sort of bow shape and I would quite like to point out some of the lighting isn't the best but it was a sunny day but I didn't have flash on so yeah I hope you enjoyed my review and that's all for today